Jesus. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. A couple of weeks ago I posted uh, some videos about a guitar retreat I did in Belgium. And in those videos I talked about the concept of getting into a scale. Referring to the fact that we may know a scale, but since we are somewhat on the fretboard that is not close to where we know the scale, we need a way to get into it. And I've been thinking about maybe there is more information that we already have in our fingers, in our system, that we haven't explored enough in order for it to be fully rewarding. And the more I look at it, the more it becomes obvious. And that's what this little video is about. It's about one thing that I think we could do to improve our knowledge of the fretboard and the modes without having to learn new things. For this concept of thinking, you have to know your three notes per string scales or modes. I played them at the intro. These were all the modes from uh, G major. So I started with Ionian and I ended with uh, Locrian. But I went up and down. And this is what most people do. You play your three note per string shape and then you go back. Same for Dorian, you go up and back down again. It's on the way down that I think there are options to use the knowledge even better. Look at this. If you go up an Ionian mode, if you do your three notes per string thingy, you end up on a C. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And you run out of strings. That C, if you go back down again and you keep thinking of uh, G Ionian, you miss an opportunity. First of all, I think if you go down, you will just repeat the process that you've done going up, but in uh, the reversed order. So you will still be doing the same exercise. Just upside down, coming from the top, going back down to the bottom. If you look at it this way, we're here on that, we're here on that C, in the key of G, this is the fourth degree, and it's actually, if you would start on a C, it is a Lydian scale. But this time we're going down. It's the same fingering as our G Ionian, but we go down and we start on the C because we've ended our three note per string walk on the C. If we now go down and we switch in our brains to C Lydian and we look at the intervals, we don't have to learn new fingerings because we already know that one from going up uh, G Ionian. But now we go down C Lydian and we think about the intervals. You don't have to find for where they are because you already know them because you've done the exercise probably years and years. But now we are thinking C Lydian. So this is C major seventh, natural sixth, perfect fifth, raised fourth, that's our Lydian note, major third, perfect ninth, second, Back to our major 7th, 6th, 5th, raised 4th, 3, 2, 1. So all of a sudden we've done a Lydian scale going down. Two octaves. Or you could include the lower strings, but I would suggest stopping at the root of that Lydian uh, 
mode just to give you more of the Lydian sound. Sounds totally different then, because then it feels like you're going back to the root of G, which is not the case. So we're going up in G. And we're going down C Lydian. Same thing with our uh, Dorian mode. This is A Dorian. <coughs> and we end up on the D. Now the D in our key of G is a fifth. So this is a Mixolydian scale if we go down from D. No new fingerings to learn. You just have to remember where to put them because the fact that you are thinking uh, D Mixolydian might confuse you, but the fingering stays the same. The only thing you need to do is look at the intervals and uh, force your brain to think from D instead of from G. So this is D, flat 7, 6, perfect 5th, 4th, major 3rd, 2nd, and the root. And we go back down, further down, excuse me. Flat 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So going down. And if you stop on the D, because uh, as I said before, we, I think it's better to stop on the root of that uh, scale you really hear the uh, Mixolydian sound. So that question I wants to resolve to uh, the G. So we're going up, Dorian, and we're coming back, Mixolydian, going up Dorian A and going, coming back Mixolydian D. If you do this process with all your seven fingerings, of the modes in G, you will end up going up every mode, but also going down every mode, and it's the down part that will be new. So we started with C Lydian, then D Mixolydian, then we have E uh, natural minor, then we have F sharp uh, Locrian. Then we have G major, then we have A Dorian, and then we have B uh, Phrygian. So we had them all going up and we have all of them going back down. It's on the going back down part that you will have to think. But the fingerings, sorry, but the fingerings are the same. The fact that you will be thinking from a top note down will confuse your brain. So you have to align your fingers and your brain. You have to allow for your brain to catch up with the interval knowledge of those um, modes. But your fingers should be really familiar because the GPS route has already been set by the fact that you've done it from the bottom string to the top. It's just now that your brain has to recalibrate and instead of thinking of G, going down, you have to think of C Lydian going down. There you go. A way to apply the knowledge you already have. It may be scattered around, focus it, bring it together and get to know your fretboard a bit better. Hope you enjoyed this guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.